You've definitely seen this map. It's the world's most popular map called the Mercator map, but it distorts the size of many continents and there's been recent traction in a campaign to stop using it. Here's why. The campaign is called Correct the Map and it's led by civil society organizations like Africa No Filter and Speak Up Africa. They argue that the map diminishes Africa's size by exaggerating the size of the Northern Hemisphere on the globe. For reference, here's the size of Africa on the Mercator projection map, which was created in the 16th century. And here is the Equal Earth map, created in 2018, which campaigners say is a much more accurate representation of Africa's shape and size. In the Mercator projection, Africa is smaller than Russia, but in reality, the continent is so big that the US, China, India, Japan, and most of Western Europe could fit into it with room to spare. The campaign argues that the current design furthers the stereotype that Africa is marginal, which affects how it's viewed in media, education, and policy. Some people have even described the map as being the world's longest misinformation campaign. For the history of the Mercator Project, I'm going to refer you to a clip from an episode of The West Wing, which aired in 2001. The German cartographer Mercator originally designed this map in 1569 as a navigational tool for European sailors. The map enlarges areas at the poles to create straight lines of constant bearing or geographic direction. So it makes it easier to cross an ocean. But yes. it distorts the relative size of nations and continents. Are you saying the map is wrong? Actually, yes. Continents near the poles appear much bigger than they are in real life, and those near the equator appear shrunken. In the Mercator map, Antarctica is so big that publishers often have to leave off part of it, which then centers the globe vertically on Europe rather than its true center, which is the equator. Critics say this can add an inflated sense of importance to the global north. While this topic isn't new, there have been renewed efforts recently to push for the use of a more accurate map. In August of 2025, the African Union endorsed a campaign calling for schools, governments, and international institutions to use a map that reflects countries' true sizes. And activists say it's about more than just geography, it's really about dignity and pride.